Welcome to the demonstration of NetSuite CRM. You can see in the top right hand corner of the screen, I am logged into the customer service role where I'm able to track, manage, and analyze existing and historical support cases for my company. This is the customer service dashboard. In my reminders portlet on the left hand side of the screen, I can see cases requiring responses, returns, and high priority cases that need my attention. From the tiles, and navigation portlets, I can access quick links to tasks that are important to my role. KPIs or key performance indicators give me a real-time look at open and new cases, escalations, and cases that have been closed. This case portlet provides key details for each case. I can quickly identify the customer that submitted the case, the subject or issue provided in the case, as well as the priority. I am able to filter by assignment, status, and whether a case is awaiting a reply from a support rep. To the left, we can see a trend graph about monthly cases that have been closed. Cases are created in the system one of three ways. Each NetSuite account has a case capture email address that will generate a case record when a customer reaches out. This can be found under setup, support, support preferences. On the inbound email subtab, you can see the email address that customers will use to submit a case. The second way a case can be created is through an online case form. These are typically found on the merchant's website. These forms are configurable for each company and allow you to capture all the relevant information you need to have a case created in NetSuite. When a customer fills out this form, it will generate the case record in the system. The final way is for a support rep to manually enter the case. They can do that on their home dashboard from their create new drop-down menu and click on case. This will open up a brand new case record. Now let's take a look at an open case. I'll use my case search portlet to open this up. In the primary information section, we can see who submitted the case, the assigned support rep, the contact information for the customer, as well as the status and priority of the case. In the incident information section, we can see the incident date and time, the case type, case issue, as well as the origin of the case. For products companies, we can also see if the case is related to certain items. Under the communication tab, a support rep can get access to the entire conversation thread and respond directly to the customer from NetSuite. On the file sublist, I can attach any images or supporting documentation for the case. The related records subtab includes all linked transactions from which we can create new related transactions as well if needed. I'm also able to escalate cases to support managers or other employees at the company from the escalations tab. I can enter a message and select who I'm escalating this to. Lastly, the metrics subtab provides information like how long a case has been open, how long until the first response, as well as total time to close and more. I can use my shortcuts menu to access the case activity by support rep report. This provides insight into the total cases each sales rep have supported. We can see average response time, time to close, and first contact resolution rates by rep. Finally, we can drill into the detail report. This allows us to see each individual case that has been assigned to the reps for more detailed analysis. Thank you for watching the demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.